How to align the engine. Inspection. Before attempting any alignment, the following should be checked with the boat on the hard. Engine bed. If you have just got the boat, inspect the condition of the engine bed. Make sure that the bed plates are parallel to the propeller shaft. Check the bed plate beams area are solid. Use percussion test and a moisture meter to confirm that they are not delaminated. Engine mounts. Check if the mounts are in good condition, no cracks, wear, rust, or corrosion that could prevent adjustments. That the mounts are secured to the engine bed. This is usually done with lag bolts and an appropriate sealant. The gaps between the metal parts of the mounts should be almost equal. Also check that the lower leveling nuts of the mounts are equally leveled. Propeller shaft. Check if the propeller shaft is straight and centered. Cutlass bearing. Verify if the bearing of the cutlass is not overly worn. Stuffing box. Also check if the stuffing box is in good condition. Warning, if any of these items require repair or are questionable, they should be addressed first. Attempting an alignment before addressing these items may be a waste of time. Alignment. Before starting the alignment, make sure that the boat has been in the water for at least 48 hours. Disconnect the shaft and check its free movement. If rust is present, sand and clean the surfaces. Loosen the upper nut of the engine mounts. Start by leveling the engine using the lower nut of the leveling studs. Slide the coupling to check leveling. If the coupling faces do not visually match, continue leveling until a visually correct alignment is achieved. When looking at the coupling on its face, it can be imagined like a clock. If the gap is wider at 9 or 3 o'clock, a lateral adjustment of the engine is required. A gap at 12 or 6 o'clock will require an adjustment up or down. Check if a 0.003 inch feeler gauge fits all around the perimeter. If there are spots where it does not fit, it means the alignment has not been done correctly. Once adjustments are made, verify the gap. Check by rotating the coupling 180 degrees and verify the gap again. Slide the coupling face of the shaft to the transmission until contact is made. Adjust until the gauge cannot be inserted all the way around the perimeter. With the engine aligned, insert the top washers and secure the mounts with the top nut. With the mounts fixed, check the alignment one last time and tighten the coupling. If possible, they should be tightened in sequence opposite each bolt with a torque spanner.